Ashat Miketz. Yosef is sold into slavery in Egypt and after years of ups and downs, he finds himself almost at the top of the pyramid. Pyramid, Egypt, you get it? Second in command of the great Egyptian empire. There's a question that bothers the commenters a lot. If Yosef is so important, second only to Pharaoh, why didn't he reach out to his father Yaakov to tell him that he's still alive? It's only six days walking distance between them. A short hop and skip in those days. So many answers were given, but I want to share with you the answer of Rabbi Yol Binun. When we read the story, we know what Yaakov thinks. Yosef was killed by a wild animal. His heart is broken into a thousand pieces from sadness. But let's ask ourselves, how do things look from Yosef's side? Because it seems that he understands it in a completely different way. All these years that Yosef is in Egypt, he's asking himself, how is it that I'm here and my father is not looking for me? Actually, it was he who sent me to my brothers who threw me into the pit. Can it be that my father is part of the plot? Nah, can't be. Abba loves me. On the other hand, Saba Yitzchak loved the Sav and the Sav was thrust aside. And Abraham loved Ishmael and he also... When you think about it, in our family, one side is always pushed aside. Maybe this time, we, the children of Rachel, are the ones to be pushed aside. Probably Leah's children are the chosen to continue the spiritual legacy of the family. But when the brothers appear before him, suddenly he's not so sure he got it right. So he makes up a plan. He will cause his brothers to bring Binyamin to him. He wants to ask him what Yaakov is thinking, and most important, to see if the brothers will jump on the opportunity to rid themselves from the other son of Rachel, Binyamin. He falsely accuses Binyamin of theft and sentences him to a lifetime of slavery. But at the crucial moment, Yehuda rises to the occasion and reveals to Yosef for the first time a very important piece of information, which will turn everything he knows upside down. Now please, take me and release Binyamin. Please understand, my lord, you cannot punish Binyamin because that will kill my father. Look, my father had another son which he loved from the same mother as Binyamin. And our father is mourning for that child all these years because, God forbid, he was killed. Yosef doesn't believe what he's hearing. What did you say? What do you mean killed? You're telling me that father thought all these years that I was dead? He sends everyone except the brothers out of the room. But his crying can be heard throughout Egypt. A cry from the bottom of his heart. A cry of a soul that finally, after all these years, finds a family. Look at me. I'm Yosef. Is my father still alive? Does my father still love me? And every year this cry succeeds to break down my defenses and to admit to myself and to the world. Whom am I if not a lost child? He was asking, you still love me?